In this demonstration we're going to have a look at how uh, to use command lists to pipe output and perform bulk management tasks. We'll also have a look at how to use a simple sample script for more complex management tasks to actually create, say for example, multiple users. So the first thing I want to do here is I just want to get a list of all of the users in fourth coffee. So we've got get hyphen user, hyphen filter, company is equal to fourth coffee. Hit return, we can see we've got three users within here. Next thing I want to do here is just disable a mailbox for Jane. So what we'll do here is we'll use the disable hyphen mailbox utility. And we'll do that for Jane. Hit return. Just hint and to confirm that, so we've now disabled Jane. Next thing I want to do here is just run a little commandlet to give me a list of all of the users in fourth coffee. I want to then pipeline that commandlet into enabling all the mailboxes on database, mailbox database one on my Exchange Server 10. So what we'll do here, we'll just clear the screen. So what we've done here, get hyphen user, filter everybody in fourth coffee, pipe that little query there into this command here to enable the mailbox on database, mailbox database one. So hit enter. So we'd already had three uh, three users. Two of the users already had Exchange mailboxes. The only one that didn't was Jane. She's the user I disabled. So that's why I'm getting these two little bit red and I've got one success on Jane. So now what we'll do, we'll just clear the screen. And the next thing we're going to have a look at is actually using a very simple script to create multiple users. So the next thing we're going to do here is just go to Notepad. And what we'll do is we'll just open up the script. As you can see, launches up our little script here. So what we've got, we've got the script demonstrated by basically me. Section one here, we're going to define the database for new mailboxes to be mailbox database one. We're going to specify that everybody has a UPN name of wherever they are at datum.com. We're then going to import a CSV file. So we're going to import all of this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the CSV file that we're going to import, which is going to be a command uh, or a a CSV file called demo users and what we're going to do with that is we're going to take all of the users from there and create user mailboxes. So what we have here section 3 we're just going to convert the password string to a secure string because we don't want that echoing back to the screen and what we're going to do here create a user first name plus the UPN domain coming from the variables up at the top. The display name will be the first name plus the last name and then we're going to create a new mailbox with the password taken from the password variable and then what we're going to do is take all of the other variables to create the user accounts themselves. So what we'll do here is we'll just have a quick look at the demo users.csv file. So again we'll use notepad. We'll open that up so as we can see here we've got first name, last name, password, an organizational unit and what we'll do here as well is I'll just create another user and we'll also put that user in research as well. Right, we'll just save that off just to ensure we have that all, all done nicely now. The next thing we're going to do here is we're actually just going to run this commandlet so we'll just come back to our exchange management shell and what we're going to do here is actually just run that demo users PowerShell script and we're going to import it, all the information from the demo users.csv file. Right, so we've typed everything in here. Next thing to do is just run it. So as you can see, it's now gone away. It's created uh, five users. We've got alias of Bart1 because I already have a user called Bart Duncan so it's created the alias um, with a, a number one after it just so I don't have um, non-unique usernames sitting on my system. So next thing to do here really will just be to go into our Exchange Management Console, just have a look at our recipient configuration and have a look at our mailboxes. If we have a look down the list, there's Alice. 
and there's our bot user so that proves that the script did work and did create the users and it also did create the mailboxes so it's going to be quite handy for say an educational institution where they have a very high turnover of students so rather than create the users manually we could use a script to create the users and populate the exchange organization that's the end of the demonstration thanks very much